What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be covering Rooting BlueStacks 5. My previous video, Rooting BlueStacks 4, did incredibly well, but of course, the video needs an update when a new version of BlueStacks comes out. The video in question will be linked in the description down below. Rooting BlueStacks 4, working 2021. While this does still technically work, it doesn't work for BlueStacks 5. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So to begin, I'm not just going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it for two different versions of BlueStacks, both the 32-bit and 64-bit, as the methods are basically exactly the same. So let's begin. Usually you'll have only the 32-bit version installed, but if you'd like some extra performance out of your BlueStacks device, do make sure to open up the multi-instance manager and add a 64-bit version of the device that you like, and of course, head into the settings, give it some more cores and some more memory in order for it to run a lot better. I find that the 64-bit version gives me a little bit better performance and hence I'll include it in this video guide. So what exactly do we need to do to begin? First of all, we need to navigate across to where we installed BlueStacks 2. For me, I installed it to my D drive, though more than likely for you, it'll be located in C program data. Simply open up a new file browser, head across to this PC, C drive, and make sure that hidden files are enabled. If you're on Windows 11, click the three dots up here, options, and then make sure that under view, you have show hidden files, folders, and drives checked. If you're on Windows 10, which you more than likely are, head into this PC, C drive, view at the very top, and then make sure that hidden items is checked. Once we're in here, if you installed it to the default location, you'll see a BlueStacks folder inside of this program data folder over here. If you don't, don't worry, simply navigate across to where you installed it. In my case, it's on D drive, VM, and then BlueStacks underscore NXT. Now, of course, it could be underscore NXT or underscore anything else, really. It's just BlueStacks underscore something else, either in program data, if it's installed to the default location, which will be on your C drive, or it could be on a different drive if you installed it to somewhere else. Anyways, what you're looking for is BlueStacks.conf. If you find yourself completely lost, simply search all of your drives for exactly bluestacks.conf. Simply double click on it and open it with a program such as Notepad. As simple as that. Now that we have the settings window open, all that we need to do is look for the settings that say routing. So usually it'll be bst.feature.routing. So I'll simply scroll down to F and you can see BST feature routing zero. Simply change this to one, keeping the quotation marks. Now scrolling down even further, you'll see bst.instance dot followed by an Android version and some more settings or flags. What we're looking for is enable root access, which is down here. As you can see, bst instance followed by the instance name, enable root access, and we'll change it to one once again. Now scrolling down even further, you'll see I have Nougat 64. If we have a look inside of the multi-manager over here, you can see 32 and 64. Now, depending on what versions you have installed, which you may even have more, you'll have to go ahead and do this for every different version of Android that you have installed. Anyway, once again, we're looking for BST instance, followed by the instance version, enable root access, and we'll change this to one once again. Now, we'll save this file with Control S, and we'll change it to read only. So right click this at bluestacks.conf file and then click properties. Inside of the properties window, make sure that read only is checked and then click OK. If you'd like to edit this file in the future, you'll need to uncheck that, edit the file, save it and then check that option once again. Now from here, all you have to do is simply start up your BlueStacks app of choice. Now, of course, if you had one running, it's highly recommended that you stop it and then simply start it up once again. So I'll start up, say, Nougat 64 bit right over here. It doesn't really matter what version of Android you're using. Now that we're on the home screen, let's go ahead and open up the settings by clicking the settings wheel in the bottom right. Now, for some reason, it's not displaying properly on my screen, but under device settings, you'll see root access, enable root access. In fact, let's just go ahead and pull up a background so you can see it a bit better. Here we go. I've now zoomed in on a black image and you can see the settings a lot better. Device settings, and you can see enable root access is checked. To further verify that root access is actually enabled, let's go ahead and download an app from the Google Play Store. Of course, you'll need to sign in first. Here we go. Now that we've signed in, let's go ahead and search for root check. It's a simple app that lots of people use to verify whether the device is actually rooted. So let's go ahead and install it and open it up. After scrolling through it and clicking verify root, you can see that root access is properly installed on this device. It's that simple. 
So anyways, that's about it for this video. Now, of course, you can go ahead and install any other root apps or tweaks that you'd like, and it's now been fully enabled. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!